so sorry if oh no I should turn on my I'm off the deep end and watch as I dive in I'll never meet the ground crash through the surface where they can't hurt us we're far from the shallow now in the shallow whatever yeah, so I'm here now at Pai Leba uh, area. Just went to Sing Post to drop off a parcel for my mom. Yeah, it's quite hard to find a place where that nobody's around. Anyway, I'm here. Um, just drop off a parcel for my mom because we bought something from Zalora and it was too small. Anyway, I'm here now. Uh, I've got time to kill because I am half an hour late for my appointment. Yeah, so I made a reservation at a small cafe, Swiss Bake. You've seen me. Because I like to eat the smoked salmon uh, from there, and I one time I was just googling uh, various locations for the Swiss bake so I can try a different outlet. Whether they keep trying the same one all the time, right? And then I discovered that this app called Eatigo, spelled spelled as Eat I Go. Probably pronounced as Eat I Go, but yeah, but it um, helps me get this like fifty percent discount. Like if you're like me, like you don't really need to eat at a specific time. Like you don't need to eat like 12 to 2 or whatever. And you go to this app, um, if you are willing to eat at say 11 or from 3 to 4.30, then you get like lots of uh, places at 50% off. Not all, everything on the menu, but some significant stuff. Yeah, like my favourite, the salmon sandwich. But today I'm going to try the chicken bowl or whatever. Haven't tried it yet, and I'm looking forward to it. To be honest, the only thing is that you have to make a reservation, and so you can't go like whenever you feel like it. Sorry, my face looks horrible, but because I have a headache uh, from that day, I think it was on day seven, because I was swimming. Suddenly, it was really hot, and now I feel as if my head has been kicked by a horse. Yeah, it's been it's really bad. I had to take painkillers yesterday. I couldn't sleep. So check it out. I mean, you probably know about this. I just discovered it recently. I'm pretty happy about it, and it's great because you know I'm like stupid train. I can't eat like whatever I want uh, because I'm trying to make sure that whatever I eat is like fuel to my body and it's not gonna weigh me down. But anyway, it's got my favorite Swiss bag, Swiss bag cafe that I'm quite obsessed with recently and. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about the stroke. So I'm going to eat smoked salmon or eat there until I get sick of it. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. Did, and I don't know why I said I'm half an hour late. I'm half an hour early. Early for my appointment. Actually, I was one an hour early. But then I went. I walked around. I wanted to go to the rooftop garden at Singapore Centre, but it was closed. So I just walked around and take videos of places, second and third floor. I've never been there. There's some interesting restaurants there. But I don't think, maybe I'll try them one day, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm just here now. The train says hello! Sorry about that random burst of singing. Anyway, I um, just want to tell you about the food I had just now. I can look back in the picture because I forgot what it was, what vegetables was available. Um, yeah, so they have the chicken is marinated in some kind of I think sun dried tomatoes. I think so, and um, I could taste thyme. Um, I think maybe garlic and onion. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, the chicken is well marinated and um, it arrived hot, and then there was. Edamame beans or soybeans, corn, cherry tomatoes, uh, broccoli, some kind of sauce. Tastes to me like cashew or yogurt sauce with 
I think blend it with tomato or chili peppers. I think some kind of pepper. Green, red pepper, I think. I don't know what else, but it's, yeah, it's a nice sauce. It goes very well with the entire dish. The only complaint I have is that uh, the sliced almonds uh, that came with it, some of it was uh, overly toasted, so it tastes a bit burnt. Yeah, I couldn't see it, but I could taste it. Yeah, and then um, it's not a pleasant taste. Uh, and also the sauce came really cold, but the chicken came like warm, so it's a bit weird. Uh, but once it rises to normal temperature, it's okay. Yeah, uh, there was also a hard boiled egg. I wish they, I wish that the egg inside the egg is jammy it would have been perfect, but it was totally it was hard boiled. It was yeah, it was yellow and uh, dry, and I don't really. It's okay for me. I like it. It goes well with the sauce. Okay, but anyway, the chicken is about the size of my palm, so it's a good size. I feel very happy. And then I took a can of Coke Zero help to wash up the entire thing. I don't really usually drink coke but if I like to drink, if I do drink coke once in a while, it's coke zero and I spent the entire train trip home belching audibly so I hope I don't scare anybody the way I belch because it sounds a bit like thunder rumbling. Yeah, don't know why I, just, I told you guys such things. Yeah, anyway, just for the, the green, it's called hot chicks. And uh, because I came at 3 o'clock, I booked, I made a reservation for 3 so I could get 50% off of certain dishes and I got this one. Normally I'll get the salmon sandwich but today I decided that I just wanted to try this out because yeah. And I did, I didn't regret it at all and uh, I think it's going to be perfect next time if I want to do another long swim. Uh, this is going to be perfect for fueling. Yeah. Speaking of which, my, my uh, vegan... Protein, sh protein powder thingy has arrived but I'm not going to drink it too now because it's like I say I want to sleep so I'm not going to drink it now. I'm not, this video is not sponsored by the way. I wish they sponsored me. I would eat there every day but um, I'm not so yeah but I'm thankful that Swiss Bake and Itigo has provided us with this opportunity so if you guys like Swiss Bake like I do uh, and you like to eat stuff like that it's quite healthy and it's wholesome and it's got everything that I need for you know fueling up, then yeah, go. I've I never think of thought of myself as a picky eater, but because I'm trying to, I'm I swim a lot, right? So I want to make sure that everything I put inside my body gives me fuel, and I eat m for fuel more than I, than for enjoyment. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video for today. It's going to be short, and uh, well, because I had a lot of time, so I took a lot of pictures of food around the area. Not that I want to eat there, but. If you guys are around the area and want to think about food, then you can check it out. I mean, I didn't think all, but some of the things I thought were interesting. Yeah, okay. So, thank you for watching. See you. Love you.